Hi, Tim Kitchen here again for this edu tip on video literacy, and this is part two, all about actually importing your assets into Premiere Pro CC. Now, as you can see on my screen, I've actually opened up Premiere Pro and I'm asking to go to a new project. So I'll click on new project. And this little window here confuses people a lot because there's a lot in this window, but really you only have to worry about the top two sections. So I'm gonna give my project a name. I'm gonna call it hoverboarding. And I'm going to change the location here to point towards my project folder that we talked about in chapter one. The project folder for me is on the desktop. For you, it could be anywhere else. In fact, I recommend it's not on the desktop for you because that's where you should be putting temporary files, not permanent ones like a video project. I'm gonna jump into my hoverboard folder and that is where I'm gonna locate this project, not inside one of the subfolders, but inside the project folder and then click OK, and that should bring up Premiere Pro, the Premiere Pro environment. Now, down the bottom left-hand corner is where we will be importing all of the assets, and above that is where we can preview the assets that are imported. This is also where we set up our in points and our out points, and we drag across down here to edit into our timeline, and this will actually build our story step by step, a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle, one piece at a time to produce this beautiful product. At the top right hand corner is where we'll preview the project as it's being developed. In between the timeline and the import area is a set of tools of which we'll be using a handful of them. And at the far right bottom corner is our audio level meter. So let's go ahead and start doing the, pre the importing. If I go down to the bottom left hand corner and do a right click, I can now go to where it says import. Now it should go straight to my project folder. If it doesn't, please go and find your project folder and then bring up those subfolders. And now I'm going to import just the audio folder. So if I highlight, just click on the audio folder once. On a Windows machine, you'll get a button down here that says import folder. You click on that and the whole folder will come across with whatever is contained in the folder. In this case, I am working with a Mac, so I'm just going to click import and it'll do exactly the same thing. And I'm going to do the same with my footage folder as well. Just highlight the folder once. Don't double click it. Don't go into the files. Just highlight the folder once. And then of course import folder on Windows or just import on a Mac. And if I try and do that with my BGs and titles folder, notice what happens here. I'll highlight my BGs and titles and click import nothing will happen because there is actually nothing inside that folder. So it only imports folders that contain data to be used. So now that I've got that imported, when you first import, it'll probably look like this. It'll be like an icon view. I highly recommend you go down to the bottom left hand corner and there's a little function here called the list view. And if you click on that little button, the list view button, you'll get a much better, more appropriate way of managing these particular assets. If we open up those folders, you can see they're all being revealed for me and then I can start playing with them. That's how you import the assets.